Welcome back to Warsaw Fan TV and Merry Christmas from Simon and Stephen. Merry Christmas, people. Merry Christmas. We're hoping that uh, you're going to have a, a hearty Christmas and a yeah. safe one and keep away from all that COVID stuff. And Omicron, don't forget that. And so. Omicron. First of all, I want to share the disappointment of Swindon away. Because I'd got it all set up for a surprise for Stephen. Yeah. I bought the tickets and uh, we we're ready to head down and then uh, disappointed. Yeah. But with all the Omicron stuff, Stephen was a little bit nervous anyway, weren't you? Yeah, well, I don't want to go and get this Omicron because I ain't got no thing, have they? No vaccine. Vaccine for Apparently, the booster um, really does help. I think if you have the two vaccines, you're only about 5% covered for Omicron. But the third one takes you up to 86% or something. Oh, really? yeah, well. don't, uh, don't sort of dive into the details with me. But I mean, from my point of view, it's um, you need to have the vaccine. The fact that a lot of Premier League players haven't had the vaccine is ridiculous for me. Yeah. I've posed a question to Warsaw of... Have all their players had the vaccine? I'd like Walsh to come out and say if that is the case because we should be sort of broadcasting that to encourage others to take it. The Premier League players that are that haven't had the vaccine, they're they're supposed to be role models and setting an example. So that's um, that's very poor in my mind. Well, we'll move on from that. Let's stay positive, and we're positive that we're going to lose against Northampton. Yeah. <laughs> I like it when Stephen does this. When Stephen uh, predicts we lose, we generally win because he, he predicted Colchester are going to beat us. Yeah, no, but I think it's, we are going to win against Northampton because they are one think so. even though they are second. And Northampton are flying. They are, which means we're going to win. Let's just uh, let's just go for the facts, shall we? Let's do it. Northampton second place, forty points plus twelve goal difference. Yeah. Also in twelfth on twenty eight points, so twelve points behind them. They've uh, they've only conceded seventeen goals in the first twenty one games. Be better at what? Lots and we've conceded twenty four. Oh, we're not the worst. Uh, they've scored twenty nine to our twenty five. Most of that, or a large portion of that, is set pieces. John Guthrie, he used to play for Warsaw some years ago. Yeah, he's got five goals. The last of those coming away to Harrogate, um, header that got the win for them two one. Um, the other goal for them on that day was from a corner. So the set-piece specialists, guys to watch out for, Sam Hoskins and Keon Etete, both got six goals. Northampton have one player that might cause us some trouble. A lot of trouble, actually. Liam Roberts. Liam Roberts. You used to love him, didn't you? Oh, I still do. I don't care. Northampton. <laughs> yeah, he's a great keeper. And he's doing well. As, as we saw, they're... Um, They've got an excellent defensive record. They have indeed. All because of Liam Roberts, by the way. All because of Liam Roberts. Yeah. So, um, we're hoping he has a bad day. Well, I hope he doesn't. He'll be out, to, be out to prove some people wrong after being uh, allowed to leave Warsaw, won't he? Yeah. Ah. It's going to be one of those. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be that's going to be a bit tough. They've won the last four. Yes. Northampton, well, good Oldham, Blank Norriot, Exeter, and then Harrogate, of course. Well, it's time for them to lose, I say. Time for them to get beat. Yeah. Uh, Port Vale were on a good run until they played this, weren't they? So yes. maybe we can upset so, them. Yes. The seventh place is what we're targeting to finish the top seven. We're just five points off Exeter, who are in seventh at the minute. Think we might do a video if we get round to it over Christmas about the halfway stage. We were expecting halfway to be um, the Bradford game yeah. on the twenty eighth of December, but obviously we've started to get games cancelled. Is the Northampton game going to be on? Well, I hope so, but it's um, we won't be going. We won't be going. We'll go for I follow. Um, back to the live streams. So back to the live stream watch alongs, indeed, Stephen. I think we might be forced into that. I know people enjoyed that. Um, it's a way of sort of keeping connected 
when you can't get to the ground and that sort of stuff. But we want to be in the ground, don't we? Oh, definitely. Calvage causing all kinds of stuff. Um, Warsaw perhaps need to step up their game, I think, on the Calvid regulations because other clubs are doing things much better than Warsaw at the moment. Um, from my point of view and Stephen's point of view, we'll wear a mask when we go into the stadium. And I'm when forced, we... I'm forced, it's not my point. <laughs> and wear a mask when you're walking around the stadium and then when you're in your seat, then take your mask off while you're in your seat. Yeah. But um, get a jab if you haven't got a jab already. Um, we can talk about all the um, side effects and that sort of business, but the, the way to keep safe and to get through this COVID nightmare that seems to be ongoing is everyone to follow the science and get the jabs. So um, that's my view. You may have a different view, but that's that's where we are with it. On to team news, if the Northampton game goes ahead, one guy that's not going to be involved is Manny Month. His recent court case has given him a seven-game ban, which is disappointing. But team news, Rushworth is surely going to be in goal. White as right back. Taylor, he played really well against Colchester, didn't he? he? Did He'll be in there. Left back, you would think that would be Ward. But you could have Mills. But who's the other centre half? Rowling, we thought he was going to be missing yeah. for the Colchester game. But he wasn't. So. But he, he's, he's had the bookings. He's going to be missing for Northampton. Well, he should be. So who's going to be who's going to be in there? Because well, I mean we have we've got Labadie. He could play centre. Labadie can play centre off. That, that'd be good. Bit, Keep him out air off. Yeah, but <laughs> it's a, it'd be a bit risky, I reckon. But then we also got Mills who could play. Mills you know, at centre off. Would you be confident with him at centre off? Not really. I mean, he's a CDM. He can play CDM. So he's basically playing the same role, just a bit further back, just yeah. a bit more strength. And then we've got Leak. Tom Lake, he seems to have fell out of favour completely, doesn't yes, he? Yes, indeed. So it's a, it's going to be a weird one. I think or maybe we'll change formation. Maybe I don't know. Matt but Taylor's not it, going to change it formation. We stuck four two three one. He's not changing. I don't think. Well, there's always a possibility. I mean, that's a possibility. You never know. If we stick with the four at the back, I think it's got to be Labadie going in there. Mm. And um, I reckon Leek. I reckon Leek to go in. I think Leek might go I reckon Leek and Taylor could be quite good. I think Leek's... Leek's... Because um, Leek's Leek, quick, isn't he? He's quicker. He's, he's quicker than Ash Taylor. There's a chance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's largely been played when he's got the odd game at right back. But he's a centre-half. Yeah. So maybe he'll do better at centre-half. Yeah. But yeah, he can't... Change. Every time he heads the ball, it only goes about a yard. Yeah. That's he why Ash to, Taylor's going to head the ball. And he'll be doing the tidying up, really. He'll be doing the tidying up, yeah. Okay. So, because that's what Ronan usually does, doesn't he? Except when Ronan can use his head. Yeah, so. okay. Um, CDM role, certainly Kins has got to be there. Kins and Earring, definitely. Kins and Earring, doing good. But the important thing that we've touched on previously, Earring is the player that goes forward, not Kinsella. Yeah. Kinsella is the cleaner up, he's Tiger. The diminutive, <laughs> yeah. the diminutive CDM has got to stay protecting that back four. Earring is the guy that goes forward and gets amongst the goals and helps create, not Kinsella. Kinsella, stick to what you're good at, buddy. Um, right side midfield, Ninja is likely to continue uh, right side midfield. Yes. So he did, obviously did very well against Colchester. Yeah. But... It could be Ninja's last game. It could be. Could be um, um, his contract's up at the end of the year. Walter trying to tie him down. Or previous, before Colchester, it was like he needs to earn a contract. And uh, after that, was that gold performance. We it, wait to keep him. We, we so. certainly want to keep him now. I was, I thought he was hadn't really proved himself, but the Colchester game, he sort of... Definitely came out he, and showed him. He, yeah. <laughs> he convinced me. He convinced me for sure. And I think a lot of others have been convinced already, but yeah. I think he's definitely, definitely. he definitely did the ran the show, didn't he? He was yeah. very good. Yeah, he was like um like an Ostuma, a little dynamo. That's the way. Um Osadibi in that number ten role and Kiernan. 
on the left, Kiernan's been really good, I think. Yeah, he, he has been playing very well so far. So it'd be weird to not see him start, I say. Yeah, he's got to be in there. I think Shade has sort of slipped down the order a little bit. Yes. Wilkinson had a bit of a knock, hasn't he? Yeah. So maybe he'll be on the bench. Yeah, I think he'll be ready to play, but who knows? He might actually start because. I don't know why, be just mine, because that's the way Matty Taylor's doing it. So. Yeah. Um, Willock, he had a very good five minutes in his cameo, yeah, didn't he? He did. I would like to see him come on again, to be honest. I'd like to see him coming on. I think it's too early for him to start yet. Yeah, so I think, definitely uh, too early for him to start. George Miller to would be the on. starter. Yeah. And uh, Kieran Phillips, of course, he's now slouch, is he? No, indeed not. So, that's, uh, that's the thoughts ahead of... Northampton, if it goes ahead, <sighs> deep down, I think it's not going to happen. Yeah, no, I don't think it's going to happen either. But we've got to have hope. We've got to help, haven't um, we? Um, but as a final, as a final thing, Merry Christmas from uh, from me and Stephen. Yeah. Um, we'd like to say thank you to all those that have subscribed. We've gone past 700 subscribers, so that's yeah. really nice. Thank you for those that have subscribed. If you haven't, Join the journey, the joy and the pain. And uh, we've certainly had some of that this year, haven't we? Oh, tell me about it. But, <laughs> <you know. laughs> well, we're forever hopeful for a better a better time every time, aren't we? Yeah. Over Christmas, we're going to have a look at the table and try and work out who we reckon are going to finish top seven. So uh, look out for that in your, your Christmas bag, as it were. Yeah. But for now... We're hopeful the match is on against Northampton and also hopeful that it's going to bring us some points. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Cheers. Should I take my hood down or not? Yeah, take your hood down. You look a bit more smarter. Where's that? Hold up. You're in a bit. Like E.T. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. Um, Can we just take a break for a sec? Yeah. My hair looks so sick in that picture. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> yeah, it does, yeah. Jesus Christ, look at that. That's actually... We're back on. Yeah, let's go back. Also, let's not forget <laughs> Liam Roberts. <laughs> not like we forgot at all. Hang on. I'll